another video and today I have another GFX video for you guys and it is actually another GFX battle. This GFX battle is going to be with my friend M. Sammy, and I encourage you to go check out their channel and see their part of the GFX battle so if you want to check that out it'll be linked down in the description below or in the info card in the top right corner so be sure to go check out their channel, subscribe, like their video, all of those things. But our theme for the GFX battle today is going to be a water park and I take no credit for this idea it was actually their idea to do a water park so that is what we are doing and I just love water parks so much I think they're super fun so I was really excited about this idea um, so pretty much I'm going to be making it so we are about to like get on a water slide like we have our tubes and we're gonna be getting on super fun super exciting but yeah so there actually isn't very many good water slide models on Roblox Studio, which is kind of frustrating for this GFX, but thankfully I found one. It isn't ideally what I wanted, but pretty much I'm going to be making it so my character is starting to go down the slide, like on her tube. And then my friend is going to be standing beside me with his, like, tube. I don't know what it's called. It's like a floaty, I guess. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And I found these tubes on Roblox Studio, and actually I think they are so adorable. They're like see-through on the top, kind of clear, and then on the bottom you can put like your favorite color. They're adorable, I love them so much. And I don't know if you guys have this problem, I think I talked about this in my last video where I used a swimsuit, but does anyone else have problems finding swimsuits for Roblox Studio? I guess not in just Roblox Studio, but just for GFX in general. It is so hard for me to find swimsuits. Like, I just can't find any that look good. Most of them are kind of like scary. So, you know, it takes me forever to find swimsuits for Roblox GFX. So, if you guys know of any good swimsuit codes on Roblox, let me know. Because I really can never find any. By the way, if you guys are ever looking for really nice outfits, what I do is I go on Royal High, actually. Like, Royal High? I don't know why I can't say that word. Royal High. <laughs> um, actually has some really good outfits, and whenever I need an outfit for a GFX or like a swimsuit, usually I go on um, Royal High and look for one, and then I just look it up on the catalog and get it there. So if you need some good outfit advice for your video GFX making for Roblox, you can always go to Royal High and find some good stuff. So yeah, right now I am just trying to make it look like my friend um, is kind of leaning over and saying hi, but I'm not really good with poses, so it's not looking quite correct. <laughs> um, he's also going to be tilting his head, kind of leaning forward, and then I also have to add some water with my character as well. Just add some simple water and splashes and stuff like she's starting to go down the slide. And I'm also going to be changing his tube color to blue. So I'm going to have a pink one, he's going to have a blue one. I thought that was really nice that you could change the colors and make them look super cute. So that was very nice. I didn't know if Roblox would actually have any good floaties I could use. I thought I might have to use the flamingo one and I was kind of worried. Though a lot of my GFX I've been making recently for people have had the Flamingo Floaty, so I think that's a pretty popular item right now for GFX. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are also using the Flamingo Floaty, because trust me, I've been using that one a lot. <laughs> now I'm just setting up the HDRI and some of the lighting. I couldn't get it quite the way I wanted it. I wanted it to be like kind of dark and then add some pretty colors with the HDRI. Um, you'll see in the end it didn't look as good like as I thought it would, but you know, I thought it looked decent. It looked decent, so that's okay. <laughs> um, I added in a pink emission plane and I believe a blue one as well, so it kind of tied in with their floaty colors, I guess. So that is what I went for, and then I also added a bright sort of emission plane in front of them so it would look nice. 
and then I started rendering and this GFX actually took a long time to render so that wasn't good I was just kind of sitting and waiting and the problem is with making dark GFX is that you're gonna have a lot of noise and that is definitely a problem so after this recording I decided to go back and re-render this GFX um, with higher samples I think I rendered it with like 500 something samples. I rendered it with a lot. Well, that's a lot to me. Normally I render GFX with like 150 to 200, so that's a lot of samples for me. <laughs> now right now, oh, I guess that doesn't make sense. Right now I am kind of fixing up the edges and stuff, some things that didn't really get blended too well. Um, I am now realizing after my GFX is done that M. Sammy's head is kind of off a little bit. It's kind of a little bit too far to the right. It needs to be a little bit more to the left. So that really bothers me, but it's okay. <laughs> um, adding in a bright sky background, and I was also trying to blur out some of the imperfections that the denoiser did not get. Um, I actually like what I did with the slide. I made it kind of shiny, kind of like a reflective material. I was really happy about that because I thought it looked super cute and adding in some lighting to make it even brighter because the scene was kind of dark with the way I rendered it. And also I am going to be adding in some particle overlays and things like that because those are great as well. I really love this one that looks like a bunch of little sparks. Uh, this is one of my favorite particle overlays. I use it in almost like every GFX. I love it so much. It is super cute. People actually ask all the time where I get my particle overlays from, and I get them from pixabay.com. So that's P-I-X-A-Bay.com. Um, that's where I get them all from. I just look up particles, and lots of pretty particles come up. They're free for you to use, which is great. No copyright issues, so that is awesome. And I also got this picture for the water off of Pixabay. Now I am terrible at making water, whether in editing or in Blender, so the water doesn't look that great, but <laughs> I added in some water at the end, kind of like it's splashing up. Well, not at the, like at the bottom of the screen. Trying to make it look like it's splashing up a little bit. I thought that was super cute. Um, trying to add on more and more layers to try and make it better, but unfortunately, I just don't think I'm very good with water, so that really didn't go quite too well. <laughs> Though, if anyone has a good water tutorial, either for Blender or Photoshop, let me know because I really need it because look, like the water does not look very good. So if you have something that might help, please let me know. I'm just sorry you have to watch me make the water like this. Um, but yeah, every time I make water in Blender, like, it just looks really weird. It doesn't look like water. Like, it's really upsetting. I don't know why that happens every single time, but it's okay. <laughs> now we're adding in another particle overlay because, honestly, you can never have too many particles. I really like this one as well. I think it adds, like, a nice, fun touch of color and fun, I guess. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but it, like, lightens up your scene a lot. So I really like this one. I'm just gonna blur it out a little bit and also I'm gonna add a color look up over the top to make it kind of like all consistently the same color. I ended up, I think, going with this one because I thought it looks nice how it kind of turned it blue a little bit. And I'm also gonna be adding in some saturation on the background so the background of the sky isn't too dark. And then finally, I'm gonna be adding in my watermark because all my friends always tell me to add my watermark all the time. <laughs> so that is what I'm going to be doing now. Just sticking it on there, turning down the opacity so you know it's not too noticeable. And that is pretty much it for this GFX. So here is the finished product. I hope you guys like it. I think it is super cute. I actually like the particles. They kind of look like splashes of water now, like little droplets, which is pretty cool. So very happy how that turned out. But let me know what you guys think down below. And now here is both of our GFX. So here is mine in the top left. And here is M. Sammy's on the bottom right. Let me know what you guys think, which one you think is better. This is just a GFX battle for fun. So, you know. 
but it's a little bit of a competition. <laughs> if you guys enjoy, please be sure to give a big thumbs up. And of course, be sure to go subscribe to my friend's channel linked down in the description below and in the info card in the top right corner. And also, if you have not yet, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss any future notifications from my channel. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh,